On July 25th, I had the pleasure of presenting a style workshop at Team Natural's Living No Lie Tour NYC, and I wanted to wear my hair in a vintage half up, half down do. I got lots of questions about this one on my social media, so I am going to recreate it for you all here. The night before the event, I did a silk roller wrap and stopped after the plastic wrap. I did not flat iron. Click the link on your screen to see what I used and how. I am several days past that here, so the style won't be as slick and neat as it was on the Saturday of the event when I originally did this, but you'll be able to get the gist of what I did. I started by sectioning my hair across the crown from ear to ear. Then I parted out the sides from the temple down. I used a Veda control paste to smooth the sides back into a ponytail. I love this cream based holding product because it doesn't revert the hair and it holds without being hard, sticky or tacky and in the days after using it, it absorbs nicely so there's no residue left behind. After securing the ponytail, I am simply going to wrap the hair in a knot and pin it down. This is called the anchor of the style. This is going to allow me to place the hair and guide it and secure it. For the hump section, I am going to place two large bob pins midway through the section, making sure to leave the hair on the sides of the section out of the pins. This is important. Pinning like this allows the hair to stand without teasing. Now I am going to flip the hair back and use some Aveda Brilliant Medium Hold Spray to smooth my section. This spray is perfect for flexible hold and shine. It combs out really easily but doesn't flake and it doesn't cause breakage from drying too stiff. I am using my wide tooth comb to situate the hair and then I will just wrap and pin it around the anchor bun that I made previously. When I created this style, I had just had a fresh silk roller wrap, so my hair was definitely easier to mold. Styles like this work better on fresh, straight hair. For the back section, I just installed some one inch flexi rods to create some added curls and volume. I didn't need any extra heat or product here because I already had some curls from my silk roller wrap the night before. On the event day, after I removed the rods, I just used my wide tooth comb to fluff and then added a bit of Carol's Daughter Tui Collection Reflective Shine Mist and then some more Aveda Brilliant Medium Hold Spray. Here you can see the back of my hair and my model Angela. I installed three strand twists using TGIN products for my workshop style demo. All of the details about her style, including links to related tutorials, will be in the corresponding blog post, which I will link below. So after my Saturday event, I had a film project to do that coming Monday and I wanted to create some more curls without tool heat, so I decided on pin curls. I haven't done these in a long time, but they are very easy to do and they are a great alternative if you are like me and do not like sleeping in rollers. I'm starting by sectioning my hair to make it easier to tackle. For each section of hair, I am going to add a bit of Aveda Brilliant Emollient Finishing Gloss. I love how lightweight this formula is and that it adds shine. A little goes a long way, so about half a pump is sufficient per section. Then I am going to use Aveda Brilliant Medium Hold Spray for flexible hold and then my soft bristle brush to smooth it all in. There are a few ways to make a pin curl. Option one is to take your finger or multiple fingers depending on how big you want the curl to be and then neatly wrap the hair around it. Then firmly scoop the hair off your fingers toward your scalp maintaining the pinwheel you created and secure it with a bob pin. I use the large ones because my hair is long and dense. The section sizes you create along with how many fingers you use to wrap will determine the size of your curls.
The second option is to wrap the hair from the ends to the scalp. I think this way is easier to do if you already have some curls in your hair and you are trying to maintain them by pinning them up like this. But since I'm starting off with basically no curl at all, I think it's easier to wrap the hair at the root. The third option is to use a magnetic roller of your choice and roll the hair on it and then slide the hair off to the scalp like how I'm doing with my fingers. It might be easier for you to maintain a neat structure on a hard roller. I chose the Aveda spray that I am using for two reasons. One, I already used it in my style a couple days before this, so I won't have to worry about a product battle occurring by mixing in other things. And two, I like that it holds and combs out so easily so there's no breakage, no flakes, no funny business. Just beautiful, frizz-free, shiny curls. I have also used Aveda Fumoliant Foam and Carol's Daughter Minoy Hairspray for heatless curl styles. I'll provide links to both of those in the corresponding blog post linked below. What you choose for this depends on how your hair responds to products. When your hair is straight, you definitely want to avoid gels as they are full of water and will likely revert your hair. When it comes to creams and butters, again, it depends on your hair. My strands are fine, I just have a lot of them. So creams and butters will make me a greasy, limp mess. If you have thicker strands, you can probably do a lightweight butter or cream styler for this. After installing pin curls all over, I am going to secure with the silk scarf that I got many moons ago and have no clue where from, and then go to bed. The next morning, I am just going to remove my scarf, take out all of the pins, and release the curls, separate, and fluff. The best part about this method is it was quick to do. It only took me about 20 to 25 minutes to pin curl all of my hair the night before, and I was able to sleep comfortably without rods or rollers. To make my edges nice and neat, I am going to use some Aveda Control Paste, keeping in line with what's already in my hair. Then I am just going to use my wide tooth comb to lift the curls from the root for added volume and continue to situate and fluff them. And that's it. The versatility of natural hair is amazing. Being able to create lots of styles on curly or straightened hair definitely satisfies my need for style variety. You can find product info along with related tutorials and more about the Team Natural event and my style demo on Angela in the blog post linked in the About section below or by visiting monoshair.com.